Hey guys, it's Wednesday, um, July 13th, and it's a Navy SEALs day, a uh, 20-minute uh, Busy Dad style session. I call it uh, style because um, I'm not going to do the 10 count. I'm not going to count out loud. I'm just going to count the reps as we go. Um, I'm surprisingly worn out from the past couple of days. I'm not sure why, um, but I am. A uh, little sore. I want to get the session in. Originally, I wasn't going to push too hard. I was going to go for like an easy 80 reps. Um, sometimes the hardest thing to do is to uh, allow yourself that back off day um, or just a, an easy day of motion. It was hard for me when I was um, running, when I was doing uh, ultra running. Um, and it was hard when I was doing the kettlebell lifting, kettlebell sport lifting. Um, and it's hard for me with burpees a little bit. That's the joy of yoga is um, it's always easy motion. Although there is a tendency to um, sometimes overextend a difficult um, posture, a difficult asana. Um, so I'm going to compromise with myself today. I'm going to do an easy minute followed by two minutes where I push. Um, usually I start with like uh, two hard minutes when I do this style of workouts, um, and then I do a minute recovery. But um, I want to finish harder than I start, today at least. So I'm going to do an easy minute, like three, four reps a minute, and then I'm going to push fairly hard for two minutes, and then I'm going to do a recovery minute, of three or four reps, and I'm going to see how that goes for 20 minutes. Um, we'll see. It's all um, it's all a plan until something goes away, and then we have to um, make changes on the fly. So the plan is loose, easy, and to be flexible if I need to change the plan. So I got a brand new timer. Um, my um, uh, friend bought it for me, and um, it's going to count down from 10, you'll hear a beep, but then I have an additional 35 seconds where I can just sort of do stuff a bit, um, and we'll go when it says for me 20 minutes, and then I'll start moving. So here we go. I hope I have this figured out. I think I've mentioned before that um, anything involving technology is not my forte, um, which is clear by the videos that I make. So that's 10 seconds. We're counting down from 35. I have no idea why I picked 35 seconds. Um, but that's what it is. <coughs> 10 seconds. First minute is easy. No idea what number I'm going to end up with. seconds. It's a little warm down here today. Two minutes, a little harder.
five. Six. Seven. You're losing it. Thank 
too. Six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Actually, I think I messed up. Thirty-seven. Longer break here. Forty seven reps. Almost halfway there. Forty eight. Four. 
just on it. Six. Seven. Take it easy here. Twenty seconds. For an easy session, I'm breathing pretty hard. What was I? Sixty one. Easy minute with hard minutes. See if we can push this minute to 80 rounds. 73.
six. Seven. Taking 15 seconds off the top. I'm going to try to push through for the last two minutes, last minute, 45 seconds. Coming up, I got to tell you, hundreds in the back of my mind. We'll see. 82. seconds for it. I like finishing my set in motion. So, give it a choice. Head six seconds. Give it a choice of six seconds staring at the clock and six seconds in motion in general. Unless I'm really sucking air. Dry heaving. Give it a choice. I'd rather spend that six seconds in motion. Even three seconds. I get an extra rep in. I'm at 93 reps total. And although I didn't push super hard, I did for the time. I set out to. I tell you what, at 93 reps, seven and a 
however long it might take me, this is going to hurt. Well, it's going to hurt, but it's not going to kill me. So let's finish off with 100 reps. And then we'll do some squats, squat chases after dips. And again, my dips are going to be low reps, five reps, six reps, going for exploding from the bottom rather than seeing how many I can get. I was doing some weighted dips for a while, and I was doing some high rep dips for a while, with my goal being 50 reps in one set. I think I got up to 40 something, and my elbows were robbing me a little bit. Hard to do, high rep burpees, hard for me to do hard rep burpees, hard rep, high rep burpees, high rep dips, day after day. Um, I am working out every day. I'm actually, right now, alternating my uh, six counts and my Navy SEALs along with the finisher. That might change soon. I might introduce some of the um, challenges that have been put out there, which I do from time to time, or some of the Iron Wolf routines, the hazard routines. I'll mix them in. I'll lower the intensity. I'll tailor it um, to make it more of a fun, uh, non-all-out, busy dad style session to get the numbers in. So let's get these seven reps, enough talking. One. Six. Even let's do one hundred one reps, extra rep, all the ones we left behind, all the reps we left behind us, hundred one reps. Try to get my dip bar over the camera. What I think I'm going to do five easy dips, ten squats. Let me show you real quick. You can see it. This is my new timer. I hope it gets that. That was a gift from my um, ex-wife, who is still my, somehow, despite the odds, still my significant other in so many ways. I don't know how we managed that, but we did. And. I am all the better for it. I don't know if she can actually say the same, but I hope so. so five dips. 
you all set up again. Hang my wraps up to dry. Five dips, ten squats. <coughs> Thirty seconds in between. Three sets. Five dips actually feels rather significant after 180 seals. I mentioned my fairy art technology that extends all the way to simple stopwatches. So my 30 second rest is going to be extended just a little bit. Not that I can't use it. Round two. Six reps. some yoga to do after this. Again. Somebody's coming over. We're going to take a walk out in the woods. Take the dogs out. Take the dog out. Although, it's pretty warm. The dog is part husky. It's a Pomsky. Pomeranian. Husky mix. Best qualities of both. Except for the double coat of a husky when it's in the 90s outside is kind of difficult for the little dog. Um, Misty. Her name is Misty. And pass ring. session in the books, literally, you can see my notebook there, um, to let you guys know how um, my brain sometimes works on some issues, not all. Um, I have notebooks from every workout that I've done since 1981, 82. I started training when I was 12, 13 years old, um, just lifting to be good in sports. Um, oddly enough, uh, I did get a little better in some of the sports, but not good enough where I felt like it was um, going to be my thing. But it turned out training was my thing. 
I got bigger, I got stronger. Um, I set my sights on maybe doing some bodybuilding. Um, I trained for the AAU Teenage Mr. Baltimore in 1981. Um, and, no, I'm sorry, 1982, 83, it was 17. Uh, I ended up chickening out the thought of, I love the training, but the thought of getting on stage in my um, Speedo um, was just too much for me at 17, and honestly, uh, it's too much for me at age 57. Um, burpees in my basement dungeon, uh, filmed on YouTube, is actually, filming on YouTube is actually a big, big thing for me, and putting it out there. Um, I started doing this for my um, meditation teaching instructions where I needed to post so it could be reviewed uh, and then just uh, continue. I was urged along by some great members of the Burpee community um, and I appreciate that because honestly I'm having a lot of fun and as I mentioned before, um, mainly, I, although I, I teach meditation uh, and I blog, I'm a writer. Um, I think of myself as an artist and everything I do is an extension of that. Um, everything is an expression of um, my innermost self in some way and I try to make it um, I try to make it shown at least to me in a significant way. It doesn't have to appear that way to others, but I like it to appear that way to me, that in a life of, um, as Krishnamurti uh, said, choiceless awareness, in a life of choiceless awareness where things just spontaneously arise, um, I like to think that I have the possibility of arranging those spontaneous arrivals in a way that's pleasing to my senses. And if somebody stumbles across them, it'll be pleasing to their senses as well. That's why, uh, that's why I write, and that's my style of writing. Uh, if anyone wants to visit my blog, um, stop by. I'll leave a link if I can remember. Um, that's also why I appreciate some of the uh, artistic channels that some of the others in the Burpee community uh, have out there. Uh, Paul from Oregon had his uh, drumming the other day. Um, reminded me, I could be off on this, but it reminded me a little bit of uh, Elvin Jones, the great jazz drummer, played with Coltrane. Um, and I know uh, James Brew, I think it's James Brew, it could be Tone Earth, um, who is a guitar player. Um, so Burpees is just an extension of all the other extensions. Uh, it's just one big expression of the divine. And as I mentioned the other day, when I speak of the divine, when I speak of things being holy, um, I'm not talking in a religious sense. I'm just, when you think of the odds of us being here, um, that there was a singularity of infinite potential energy that caused the Big Bang, something, caused that singularity to explode in elements, hydrogen, um, and all of that somehow formed particles and somehow formed atoms and somehow formed everything that the universe is constructed of. Um, and still, all of that construction from the atoms, from the, from the particles to the atoms to the molecules to the cells, the universe is still 98.99999 infinite number nothingness. So, all of that sprang from nothingness. It's space is actually created as it need, as it's needed, as it goes. Um, to me, that's just phenomenal. That somehow I find myself here and aware of my present situation, choicelessly aware, um, and doing burpees in my basement gym, talking to people uh, across the burpee community, whoever may be watching. Um, Okay, I've rambled quite a bit. This is probably a longest video. Feel free to skip. Um, and if not, thanks for watching. I'm going to end it here and do my yoga. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. Peace.